our discussion on the site plan for the grade 12 civil pet for this year. Now, of course, you can have a look at the How to Hack Your Pet series to look at previous instructions on how to compile and complete your pet successfully. But in this specific lesson, I'm going to be zooming in on the site plan and your requirements for the site plan to make sure you absolutely smack it. All right. Now, before we look at what is given, let's just look at what are the requirements and the questions that they've asked in regard to this. So, on page 15, on the top, it talks about your site plan, and it specifies the following. That you have to draw to a suitable scale a complete detailed site plan of stand 71. So, we're going to, between us, we're going to determine what is that suitable scale. I'm going to help you with that. Included in this drawing must be all given side details, all given side details, everything that they have provided, all the features, including all existing buildings, needs to be drawn on your site plan. Of course, this is going to be drawn on an A3 page landscape. Then you have to add the proposed new building, you have to add the parking area and the driveways. All right, take a note of that. The new building, which you've all done your floor plans of and your elevations up to now, you have to include a parking area and the driveways that takes them through the actual drop-off area, right? You'll have to show all sewer detail. You'll have to add your labels and your notes, all right? And I'll show you examples of this again. Then your dimensions, and this is again the dimensions that's given firstly, but also the dimensions of your new building, including reference dimensions and corner heights. Now, what are reference dimensions is actually the setting out dimensions of your building. In other words, where do they position that building on the site? You have to show that clearly. How is that building positioned? You have to indicate your scale and the north point. If you look at your actual checklist, which is, we, which is what we're going to use to give you marks for this, let's have a look at this. On the site plan 5.2 we actually have just two more drawings just a two-point perspective ahead of us site plan is the second last drawing in this collection of drawings did you draw your site plan correctly including all given site features if it's yes two marks the proposed new building with the north facing entrance remember that main entrance must be north facing so that's going to determine the positioning so take a note of that please of your entrance your parking area and your driveways, all sewer detail with labels, notes included, dimensions including new building reference dimensions and corner heights, suitable scale indicated correctly, and the actual north point. All right, let's have a look at the approved site plan that was shared with you in your PAD document. Now, um, the reference on the side here it's just basically the application to combine stand 71A with 71B. So they've merged these two and it's resulted in a full site plan which is now called stand 71. All right. Now, before we talk about the scale, you have to copy this to the exact T. Every corner height, every building line, every measurement indicated, the existing buildings indicated, the stand label here, the existing sewer line, the road access, the entrance into the stand, the pavement, the north arrow, the site plan, all of this must be in your as a starting point. All right, let's look at the orientation of your building. There's the north arrow, so the front entrance of your building will face towards the street of course okay let's look at how much space you have available here from the existing um buildings here there's a 20 meter to the boundary and the 3000 building line so you have technically in this space maybe i'll use a different color here you've got here 17,000 millimeters, which is 17 meters that you have available for you to fit in your building. Of course, on this axis, unlimited. Basically, there's more than 18 meters here that you can fit it in. 
So you now know this, the uh, design of your, that you've done. Most of you guys have got something that's around about 14, 15 meters, so you're not going to have a problem fitting it in here. But if you didn't consider that during your design phase, you can position your um, building to the right hand side here. The only challenge here is the existing sewer line that you'll have to be creative in how you connect to that. Okay, but most of you should be able to fit your building in here with the entrance facing north, which is uh, our main street here. All right. So how you position it and where you position it, that can be according to your own liking. Of course, I think if you really took time in designing this, you would have considered the existing buildings and how your building actually speaks also to that. I'm not sure how many of you thought about that. All right. So there's 17 meters and there's enough space here. So ideally, this would be the space to add it in. You'll have to have sufficient parking and this would be a great area for that parking. You'll have to consider your entrance and how you circulate your traffic. For instance, let's say you can come in on the one side, uh, there's a place to turn and you exit again. Um, or a roundabout of some sort. But remember that your entrance needs to face north, which they've given um, indicated for you here. All right, so that's going to determine, and you can't, of course, build over your building line. That's not possible. Um, for you to consider. All right. How do we get this drawn? We did a quick um, calculation before the time. We've got 78,500 millimeters on this side of the perimeter, sorry, of the property. In total here, if you add the 53,686 plus the 5 meters here, plus the 26... 314, we've got 85,000 millimeters or 85 meters here. We've got 52 meters here. They haven't specified, of course, this boundary because you can determine that based on these three. All right. So a scale 1 to 500, all right, would draw your drawing very similar in size to what is given here on an A3. So, for instance, what you would do is You'll take 78,500, you'll divide it by 500, and that will give you a length here of 157 millimeters, okay? This 85,000 that we have here, you'll divide that by 500. If your scale is 1 to 500, that's going to give you 170 millimeters for this fence. So any measurement that you have here, if you divide it by 500, if your scale is 1 to 500, the resulting millimeters is what you will use to actually draw your site plan on your own page. Okay? So take, for instance, the building line, 3,000 millimeters. We'll divide it by 500. That will mean, uh, what's that, 6. That will result in a 6 millimeter boundary line. Okay? And that way you can determine all your own measurements. Right, let's have a look at one or two previous examples, and I'll just show you. Remember, this is, of course, not the same site plan that you guys are drawing, but I'll just show you important parts of this site plan. So, uh, what's going to be important is that you're going to label, and please don't do yours freehand. Um, you're going to have to indicate your sewer, correctly color that. You're going to indicate on that your rotting eyes, your inspection eyes, your manholes, how it connects with the current sewer, your existing buildings needs to be indicated, and then of course all the other details, the setting out dimensions or the reference dimensions, if there's a building line, uh, what's the distance from the building line to your building, okay, so that they can position the building correctly, your north arrow in the end needs to be done, all labels as given, all right, here's another example. Similar, this learner used a different scale, but again, red for the, for the new buildings, your sewer it indicated with all the necessary measurements um, and labels, just as it was provided for you. And the, of course, this is going to be on an A3 page with a good border in. Last example, this learner added the roof design, um, and you're welcome to do that. That will actually show your Dutch cable roof very nicely uh, for 
uh, assessment. Right, that's an overview of the site plan. All of the best with yours. Now it's your turn.